What's poppin' everybody? This is Ray Rollins, and I'm joined by my right-hand man from the Bahamas, Mr. Alex Payne. And today, we got us another SpongeBob review, man. Two weeks in a row. Look, look, we on a roll, man. Two weeks in a row. Alex Payne, how you doing? I am good. Fantabulous. Fantabulous. Listen. We got some new SpongeBob episodes coming out at the time we're recording this. We're going to get up on that, man. We're going to keep this channel running, going, and flowing. Today, we're reviewing The Ballad of Filthy Muck. So, Alex, any first thought? You know what? Maybe we should just explain the episode before we get into thoughts and all that craziness. Um, mm -hmm. So, why don't, why, don't you, why don't you shoot that off for us? How, how did everything go down? Well, basically, the episode started off. As a few have in the past, but that's the point I'll make in the future, where Patrick's odor was very, you know, they, they was making a lot of jokes about his smell, and SpongeBob <laughs> realized how stinky he was after he came to the Krusty Krab. And there was a very weird moment where SpongeBob seemed sexually interested in his odor, but that's a different issue. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Listen, <laughs> you know what? Here, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a bust it down like this. I just like to give everybody like a full rundown how everything goes um because i definitely want to talk about that too afterwards but basically patrick wakes up at his rock you know lifting his arms you know getting his good morning stretches in on his rock you know you see that little green cartoony like mist coming out indicating that he stinks now of course he starts his day off by going to the crusty crab getting something to eat but as soon as he walks through them double doors the crowd just, boom, heads on out of there. He goes in the back where SpongeBob is. SpongeBob, of course, smells him talking about, oh, man, you stink. That's, that's the worst, smelliest smell I ever smelled, which is the point that my good buddy here is talking about. Long story short, Mr. Krabs smells him himself, and he goes, finds him, and kicks him out of the Krusty Krab, right? Now, Patrick over here is like, you know what, man? I'm going to be me. I'm going to stink, da-da-da, woo-woo-woo. So this dude... Goes all, all around the town, you know, doing his thing, being stinky and all that. And then all these headlines coming out about um, Filthy Muck terrorizing Bikini Bottom. Now, Patrick, of course, I'm sorry, SpongeBob, of course, sees the newspaper. And he's like, oh, wait a minute. That's Patrick. You know, I got to go find him. And he goes and finds Patrick at, I believe it was a dumpster. And, you know, SpongeBob's like, you know what? I want to see how good being smelly is too so spongebob of course joins in and you know they being filthy together more newspapers come out talking about oh yeah filthy mugs found a new playmate da 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 so long story short spongebob and patrick enjoy a nice day of being smelly sludge monsters and the whole town of bikini bottom is like you know what we ain't having this car we ain't having this at all they organize the angry bob you know get the flaming awesome. torches and you know they're running after them. They're trying to catch them. Long story short, they find SpongeBob and Patrick. They're like, yo, you know what? We ain't having you in this town, man. We're going to run you and your buddy out of town. SpongeBob's like, no, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You going to do this to me? I'm Bikini Bottom's most, I guess you could say, famous fry cook. Everybody loves SpongeBob, man. He be cooking up the Krabby Patties. You know, everybody loves SpongeBob. So they're like, you know what? Nah, you can stay. Clean up your act. But your buddy, he got to go. So SpongeBob, of course, ain't allowing it. Long story short, him and the angry mob at the little chase come to an impasse. They're like, yo, you know what? All right, here's what we're going to do. SpongeBob grabs the mop, starts like mopping them and shit. Or not mopping them at this point, but trying to get Patrick clean. So SpongeBob's like, okay, instead of you guys trying to, you know, tear him apart or, or hurt him, grab a mop. And mop, you know, as you see fit. One dude was like, can I mop really hard so I can take out my anger on them? And Spongebob was like, yeah, go ahead. Do your, do your, do, do whatever. He's going to get clean regardless. And, man, they grabbed them mops and they mopped the hell out of Patrick. They mopped him to death. Long story short, as soon as they pulled back the mops, Patrick wasn't there no more. So... Patrick pops up out of nowhere talking about, man, you know, I went home because I realized I got kicked out of the Krusty Krab. I had to clean up. You know, I got to go get something to eat at the Krusty Krab, long story short. So, 
Patrick's like, you know, I'm gonna get clean because I I need something to eat. And the episode pretty much ends like this. SpongeBob looks at old man Jenkins talking about some. Oh man, uh, you you look very scared. And uh, old man Jenkins like, I can't smell, but I can see. And you know. The cartoon shit pans over to Patrick basically mooning everybody. And that's where the episode ends. So, I guess we should get into our little thoughts and whatnot of the episode. Alex, what are your first and, I guess, final thoughts? Well, I'm going to start off with what I thought was funny. There um, there There was one moment I found genuinely funny and two moments that I thought were kind of funny. It, the the moment I thought was genuinely funny was when Mr. Crab smelled the, the guy who was on the toilet. And he oh, was like, yeah. Nope. And then the guy was like, well, you can't please everybody. I just thought that, <laughs> that, that shit was funny to me. The, 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 the one that was kind of funny to me was when the friggin' when SpongeBob left the Krusty Crab and there was the guy out there with his wife. And they're just like, see? Oh, yeah. They, they allow pets out here. And then she put the damn leash on him and started walking him like a dog. Which, <laughs> I, which I think is very, very strange. But I have a point on that later. Anyway, um, and the, the third thing I thought was kind of funny was when the angry mob went through the car yep. watching the, and their torches were out. And they was like, did you bring Let's go to the flame oh, store. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what, what, what moments you thought was funny? I mean, all those moments are great, especially the dog when I like that one. But I just like the dude who, um, when they got to the whole little impasse, they were like, okay, SpongeBob tells him to mop uh, Patrick to get him clean. And Bob he's like, <laughs> this, dude gets, this dude is so damn mad. He's like, I want to take out my anger on him. Can I mop really hard? And I, I, I think that shit's hilarious because that's how I would be. I honestly would be that. Listen, I would, I would freaking, oh my lord, I would, I would mop the hell out of somebody and I'd bash them over the head with the broomstick of the mop. Like, <laughs> I think that's the most funniest part for me, honestly. Anything else you want to add on that? On the funny part? No. But if you want to talk about the uh, other aspects of it. Sure. Well, first of all, I, sure. I, I, I really think, like, I feel like there was a lot of sexual innuendo in this episode, I feel. Oh, no, most definitely. Most <laughs> there was definitely. The, there was the Spongebob smell him, Patrick in a weird way, the whole dog, I, yeah. the dog couple. Yes. The, can I rub him with all my anger? And the, I don't the, think that part was, like, thing. sexual, sexual. Or he said, can I take on all my anger and rub him really hard? I mean, I feel like... <laughs> I think you're kind of reaching on that one, though. Maybe that's just me. But you said there's a part about an accident. What? Um, wait, did I? No, no I was just going to say the end with the ass. That's pretty, you know, that was oh. pretty blunt. Oh, but... yeah. yeah. And I'm sure there's I other mean... ones that I can't think of at the moment. But the, um, there was a lot of sexual moments, obvious and otherwise. Nickelodeon, I swear, like, Especially since you point them out like that. Like I said, I think you're kind of reaching with the whole rubbing with the mop. I think they were trying to express the fact like, yo, this man's angry that this dude's stinking out the place. And I, boy, and they said, can I, he can't say, can I beat the hell out of him? Because Lord knows that's what I'd want to say. But the thing is, like, Nickelodeon took a, a really good uh, adult swim turn with this. And that's kind of, you could argue, that's what they were doing with the Squidward, um, the Ink Lemonade episode, too. Uh, which is our most famous video on this channel. Go check it out. I'll probably put a card up. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think the episode, I'm just going to give my rating on it. I don't, I don't think it was like one of the, the best episodes ever. Like the Krusty Slammer episode I reviewed last week, I think was way better than this. So my final rating on this, I'd say is probably, I'll be generous. I'll give it like a, a five to a five point five. I'm not. I wasn't really feeling this episode. What about you? Well, my well. Well, first of all, I just want to point out. I'm sure you noticed this too. They really get like they really must be have a really high budget for animation and shit. Because like, oh no, they the do animation yeah. compared I, to the older episodes was pretty extreme in this episode. Oh no, most definitely, most like, definitely. Like, the animation was very, very detailed in this episode. But I hate 
I hate the whole like little sing along music shit that they do too. I mean, it's cool, but like the song that they did, it, it just I, didn't feel like it compares to a uh, the Jellyfish Jam or. Uh, I feel like that song um, is pretty decent, actually. So we I like defined the Squidward's this one. Tiki. I, I like the Squidward's Tiki one. It's the song, I like that one yeah, better, too. I, like I, I, I just wasn't feeling it, man. It, it didn't have, like, the old SpongeBob vibes like it, it should. I feel like it was a pretty decent song. That's what I think. Uh, but, um, but there's, but there's two, two things I want to say for this episode before I give the rating. First of all, I saw the ending coming before... Like long before anything else, like from when SpongeBob joined him and started. Oh, dirty, we gotta talk about that, right? I, I no, yeah, most definitely. Coming. And what my... do you think about what do you think about that? Like the whole when they actually mopped him like clean and he wasn't there, and he just said, "Oh man, I went home right after I left the Krusty Krab." You know. Well, it's I... it's meant to be a swerve, and but the thing is, they didn't explain anything with the other person. They didn't like show. Who it was? I'm. It pretty much just seems like they just killed whoever it was. <laughs> yeah, right. But, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. But, I, but felt like, I saw that shit coming from like, like when SpongeBob got with him and started getting dirty. Right. No. But, I, but that I brings a plot hole too. though because it showed when Patrick is going around the place getting all dirty and it showed when it Patrick did. went and I, the drum. Yep. So how could he get home? Exactly. Or, or at exactly. what point did he si- decide to go home? Or at what point, honestly, because like they, whatever that was, they mopped that thing clean, whatever it was. So, of course, he couldn't like move or disappear or unless he pulled some type of magic act, which he didn't obviously do. I don't, I don't know, man. That's the thing that it, I, the ending, it was a reach. I, exactly. The ending, it felt like I was being told a, a, a decent story and then the motherfucking author was like, I woke up. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I just wasted like five, ten minutes of my life just listening. I don't know, granted, listen, I haven't watched SpongeBob in a decent minute, but you know, it's just I, I, I would have much rather prefer to see a different episode than that. Like, it's not on the nowhere near what any of my favorite episodes, but I'm not gonna drag it through the mud. It was, it was a decent episode. I'm glad that they put out content still. I love me some SpongeBob always. That's why I'm sticking with like a 5.5 out of 10 on this one. But you know what this episode was, though? This episode what? was a this episode was a cross between the episode when SpongeBob had the really bad breath. The episode, yes. The episode yep. when the yep. episode when SpongeBob and Patrick ran against each other for smelly and stink. And then, and the episode when Squidward got all the cement and shit got all, all over him, and they was calling him smelly and was. Taking him around as a monster. That's what this episode was. That's, it was a combination of those three things put together. That's crazy. You're 100% right. You are 100%. Holy shit. I didn't even think about that when I was watching it. I'm more perplexed. Because you just pointed all that out. I'm more perplexed that they made like three or four different episodes out of this. Out of the whole idea of stinking. I'm sure there's more. Of them. <laughs> I'm sure oh, there's oh, more. I'm of them. pretty sure there are. That, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. But what's your final rating on this bad boy right here? My final rating is a. Uh, I want to say it's a four. It was. I felt like really? it was kind of bo- I felt like it was kind of boring and everything. It, it didn't offend me, so I wouldn't go any lower than that. But I definitely don't feel the need to watch it again. Right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was because I've seen some way more boring episodes. But I would say like five, five point five is like a, a, a like I said, perhaps a generous rating, but also like it could probably be a little lower too. I, I might I could agree with you on like maybe four. I would say like at the worst like maybe four point. I don't know. I feel like that's a little too low, but I do agree with you on it. It's not it's not one of the best episodes. It's definitely not any of the worst episodes, in my opinion. I've seen worse. It just got nothing accomplished. That's all I'm saying. And I agree. All right. Well, everybody, I guess that closes it out for this week's rendition of the SpongeBob Review. With all that being said, this is Ray Rollins from the Ray Rollins Network. That's my boy, Alex Payne, from the Alex Payne channel. You really should have came up with a more creative name. 
But to close it out, if you like what we did here, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. And if you like what we do and you want to support, hit that subscribe button and help a brother get to 500. Peace out, everybody.